jaw-dropping animated costume malfunctions and audacious cameos in the midst of promotional material are just a few of the single movie frames found harboring some truly brilliant discoveries. Gareth here from WhatCulture.com and here are 10 movie secrets hidden in single frames. Number 10. Betty's Boobs Make a Brief Appearance Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Proving to be the stuff of movie legend for many a late 80s and early 90s kid growing up around the time of its release. A great number of these randy teenagers were spending an awkward amount of time trying to accurately pause on the supposed moment a certain provocative animated character apparently flashed their screens in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Far from simply being an underground marketing tactic to nudge youngsters into taking in the flick time and time again though, Reddit user Tebazad was able to actually land on the infamous beat involving Betty Boop suffering an unfortunate wardrobe malfunction beside Bob Hoskins' Eddie Valiant. Rather expectedly, this cheeky slip was edited out of the eventual home releases of the animated comedy, with only those who experience the theatrical cuts being exposed to those boobs for a single frame. Number 9. Spider-Man's Popsicle Face – Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Kicking things off with a rather brilliant opening montage highlighting how Chris Pine's version of the web slinger are coming to being, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse wasted little time letting you know precisely what it was all about, as its signature brand of pulsating animation and razor-sharp wit bled onto our screens. Front and center was one particularly hilarious beat involving this Peter Parker noting how he was the subject of a so-so popsicle, which resembled what Spidey's mug would likely look like if smooshed by a tentacle brandishing big bad. As it goes, that's precisely how it would look, with the talented folks behind the scenes lacing a brilliantly brief callback to that gag in a brief skirmish between Spider-Man and Doc Ock not long after. If you pause the frame exactly at the right moment during said early highlight package of sorts, you'll see that Spidey's head pretty much lines up with that dodgy ice lolly perfectly, as he's strangled by his infamous enemy. And Phil Lord would even admit to this easter egg very much being a thing later down the road too. Number 8. Mel Gibson's Teaser Cameo – Apocalypto Cameos come in all shapes and sizes. Some can be found in the background of intergalactic battlefields, others in carrot-chomping wonders in front of the cinematic lens. And then there's that time Mel Gibson decided to oddly lace himself into the teaser trailer for his upcoming 2006 historical epic by the name of Apocalypto. This was by no means simply a case of Gibson sneaking into a scene in full costume under fans' noses, however. If you hit the pause button at just the right moment in this teaser for the film focusing on the decline of Mayan society, you'll spot the film's director posing alongside some of his cast members with a cigar in mouth for a solitary frame, all while grinning from ear to ear. It's without a shadow of a doubt one of the most bizarre tidbits to find its way into a features promotion material ever, but it certainly helped generate some online buzz for the impending project, even if it was in the form of folks simply wondering what in the hell had just flashed up on their screen for a fleeting second. Number 7. A Few Brief Monster Nods Cloverfield For a film boasting a seemingly indomitable kaiju-like figure wreaking havoc on a helpless population of citizens, Matt Reeves clearly felt it only appropriate to lace a few knowing nods to the monster epics of the past, at a number of flickering points in his found footage sci-fi thriller. At numerous instances when Rob Hawkins' camera jogged back to old footage from the Coney Island trip himself and Beth took together, freakishly fast cuts of a number of old-school monster mashes can be spotted. First up is one of the massive giant ants from 1954's Them, and that is ultimately followed by the dino critter from the Beast from 20,000 Fathoms later down the road. Finally, there's the nod to the undisputed king of the mega monsters, Soz Godzilla, that finds its way into the flick towards the closing stages as the helicopter holding Rob, Beth, and Hood crashes post-creature lunge. Rather aptly, said Kong Flicker is none other than the moment the beastly ape yanks a plane out of the sky atop the Empire State Building, brilliantly alluding to the moment that preceded it in this gripping alien monster feature. Number 6. Barry studies his own rescue, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Finding the time to pause and rewind scenes when taking in a film that comes in at a whopping 242 minutes takes some serious dedication and commitment, it has to be said. And luckily for those DC diehards who simply cannot get enough of what Zack Snyder brought them, a particularly passionate soul managed to hone in on one rather sudden and sharp detail that likely went overlooked by those taking in the mammoth movie as a whole. As picked up in a post on Reddit's always intriguing movie details page, when Barry attempts to rapidly save a bunch of scientists from falling debris, Snyder managed to sneak in a subtle flash, ha, pun intended, of the superhero actually studying his own execution of the rescue. He's that damn fast. Had the Flash actually used this time to, you know, pull off said rescue though, perhaps Cyborg wouldn't have had to step in late in the day to blast away the remaining rubble that 
threatened to squish a poor civilian. But then fans wouldn't have had this barely noticeable gag to chew on now, would they? Yeah, not a waste of time at all. Number 5. Metro Man Super Speed on Full Display Megamind Sitting as one of the finest twists you'll find being committed to an animated caper, or any big screen adventure for that matter, the reveal of Metro Man actually being alive all along in the latter stages of DreamWorks Megamind left more than a few jaws a dropping. Far from being an out of nowhere occurrence, though, eagle eyed fans managed to land on the exact moment that Brad Pitt voiced Hero put his super speed plan into action. When taken in the scene which depicts Metro Man and Megamind on two projections earlier in the flick, with the former in an abandoned observatory and the latter in his lair, there's a blink and you'll miss it beat that shows a flash from Metro Man's screen to Megamind's. This is supposed to represent the sheer speed of the eventual rapid moments of reflection that would pave the way for Music Man to become a thing, post faking of the superhero's death via nursing school skeleton prop. It's honestly quick enough to completely overlook should you find yourself reaching for a handful of popcorn at the wrong moment. Number 4. Gaston's Deathly Gaze Beauty and the Beast It shouldn't exactly come as breaking news to hear of the very various animators involved in bringing numerous Disney animated classics to life, sneaking their fair share of in-jokes and crude humor into supposed family flicks. You filthy people! But in the case of one freakishly fast frame in the closing stages of Beauty and the Beast, the decision to add a subtle extra detail did actually imbue an effective touch of darkness into the inevitable fate of the fiercely arrogant Gaston. In the slippery moments following on from a sneaky knife attack on a beast who opts to refrain from killing the vain villain, yet a rather sudden second of close up on Gaston's face as he falls past the imaginary camera would reveal a set of grim skulls in his pupils, suggesting that the doomed hunter was set for an audience with the Grim Reaper himself. Sensing this to be too chilling a happening despite it being as brief as noted, Disney would pull the theatrical cut skulls from eventual VHS and Laserdisc releases. However, the barely noticeable beat still managed to wiggle back onto the scene in subsequent DVD, Blu-ray, and VOD offerings. You just can't keep a good skull down. Number 3. Shifu has a ball training Poe, Kung Fu Panda. Sticking with the family-friendly animated sphere now, and to a frame so wholesome you likely won't be able to keep yourself from grinning upon discovering it, you'll do a full Mel Gibson. After discovering how food could indeed motivate his new pupil to fulfill his training, the legendary Kung Fu wizard Shifu puts hapless Panda Poe through his paces. Taking advantage of the endless appetite of the martial artist in training, Shifu proceeds to challenge his new apprentice whenever he attempts to seize a quick bite from under his trainer's nose. And in one of the few rare instances of the Dustin Hoffman voice critter clearly having the time of his damn life making his panda protege jump through hoops for him, just as Poe believes he's finally earned the right to chow down on a dumpling, Shifu darts across camera and yanks the snack from his chopsticks. A close examination of the hilarious happening reveals the sight of the red panda looking right down the barrel in sheer delight, as he once again foils the unassuming Jack Black voiced hero. Even strict kung fu kings can have a laugh from time to time, you know. Number 2. Spider-Man Utterly Vaporizes Venom Spider-Man 3 Returning to Spider-Verse territory now, but to the live action action corner of Sony's web-slinging universe, and a moment involving the very vicious ending of one particularly vexing villain. His name starts with a V, okay? When it comes to most devilish antagonist on display in just about any superhero offering, death is usually an act that can pretty much always be undone should the story demand it. However, in the case of Eddie Brock's violent demise in the closing stages of Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 3, one speedy frame suggests that this symbiote's host may struggle more than most to make his way back to the land of the living. Upon Spider-Man unleashing a goblin bomb, on Venom post metal pole bashing, and no, not in a sexy way, a desperate Brock can be seen launching himself at the symbiote, only to get caught in the subsequent explosion. It's here when a rapid flash of a skeleton can be seen tumbling out of the carnage in one solitary frame, and that's the chaos of the situation, not the other symbiote. And this all but confirms that Brock is most definitely not getting back up from this particular blast, unless Raimi opted to return to his undead roots, of course. Number 1. Tony sees his arc react to future Iron Man. Acting as the foundation for what would eventually become a fruitful Marvel Cinematic Universe, Tony Stark's forging of a makeshift arc reactor whilst being held captive by the Ten Rings was actually alluded to a bit earlier than you likely remember. During a sequence that sees the eventual Iron Man being water-tortured by the aforementioned terrorist group, Stark finds himself experiencing a number of mental flashbacks, Pepper Pot's voice in particular being heard in the torturing upon turning down the group's demands for him to build a Jericho missile for them. Alongside said Pepper soundbite, though, is an interesting single frame in the form of the Stark Industries arc reactor powering Tony's factory at home. 
Clearly pumped into the scene is a subtle sign of Tony's initial realization of the reactor being the solution to his newfound shrapnel issue. It's a beat many didn't spot during the first few watches of the MCU Kickstarter. Tony and Yinsen would proceed to forge the first flickers of Iron Man in the scenes that would follow this blink and you'll miss it spark of an idea that would set the stage for an entire cinematic empire. Oh, how time flies. And that's our list. Nobody other movie secrets hidden in single frames? Let us know all about them in the comments section right down below, and do not forget to like, share, and go and click on that subscribe button while you're at it. Also, if you enjoy this kind of thing, then head on over to whatculture.com and find some more awesome articles just like the one this video you are watching this very moment is based on. I have been Gareth from whatculture.com. Thank you as always for clicking on this video today, and hopefully I will see your faces very, very soon. Bye-bye.